Hello everyone, how are you all? Welcome back to the online maths class. In today's class, we will learn about the Roman numerals. Children, till now we have studied about the Indian Arabic number or that is also called as international numbers. Okay, that are from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. All the numbers that are made by using these 10 digits. Okay. Are called as international numbers or Indian Arabic number. Why it is called as Indian Arabic number? Because these are the digits that are developed by Indians. Okay. The peoples of ancient India developed these digits. And the people of Arab have spread these digits in the other countries. Okay, that's why these digits are called as international numbers. Any number that is made by using these digits. Okay, these are the 10 digits and any number that is made by using these digits are called as international number or Indian Arabic number. So, till now we have studied about Indian Arabic numbers. But today in this class we will learn about the Roman numerals. Unlike international number system that uses 10 digits to form any number, ancient Roman uses only 7 symbols, 7 symbols to form any numbers. Okay? And those symbols are I, V, X, L, C, D and M. These are the seven symbols by which the Roman used to write the numbers. Okay? Like this I, the value of this I is 1. Value of this V is 5. Value of this X is 10. Value of this L is 50. Value of this C is 100. Value of this D is 500 and value of this M is 1000. So, by using these 7 symbols only, the Roman used to form other numbers. Like we use 10 digits to form any number. Okay? Children, to form any Roman numerals, we have to follow some rules. Okay? So, first rule I have written here. Three rules are there and one by one I will explain all those rules. Okay. So first rule is I and X can be repeated up to three times. As you can see here I is equal to one. So if we have to write two then we will make two I. Okay. So repetition of the symbol is going on here. Now if we have to write three then one, two, three. Okay, here I have repeated the symbol three times. Okay, so I and X can be repeated up to three times. Now, if I have to write four, then I cannot repeat the symbol like this. Okay, because the rule is we can repeat the symbol I and X up to three times only. So, one, if we want to write one, then only I, then if we want to write 2, then we have to repeat the I 2 times. If we have to write 3, then we have to repeat the I 3 times. Repetition of symbols means addition. Means here what we are doing. If suppose I am writing here 1 plus 1 is equal to what? Is equal to 2. So here if I am repeating the symbol, means here I am adding these symbols. Okay, so if I have repeated this I symbol two times, it means two times we have to add. Means two and here this means three. Okay, so this was the first rule that we can repeat I and X only up to three times. Okay, and repetition means what? Repetition means we are adding like this is I. Okay, now suppose the value of x is equal to 10. Okay. This symbol means 10. Now if we have to write 20. Then what we have to do? 
10 plus 10 is equal to 20. Means 2 times we have to write x x. This means 20. Okay. If we have to write 30, then 3 times. Now, if we have to write 40, then can we do? No. Because only up to 3 times we can repeat a symbol. So, up to 30 we can write x, x and x. Okay. Now, as I have written here, rule number 2. If a smaller numeral is at left of the greater numeral, that means subtract a smaller number from the greater numeral. As I have told you that to write 1, we have to write only i. If we want to write 2, then we have to repeat this 2 times. If we have to write 3, then we will repeat this 3 times. Now, what if we want to write 4? Because 5 is already given, the symbol 5 is V. So, now what we have to do to form 4 now? For this, what we have to do? If a smaller numeral is at left of the greater numeral, that means subtract a smaller number from greater number. Means here we can say that 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. We can do like that. If we cannot repeat this i more than 3 times, then what we have to do? We have to subtract 1 this from this 5. Only these two symbols we have. This i and this v. So if we cannot repeat this more than 3 times, then the next option is we have to subtract this i. i means 1. 1 from this v. v means 5. Then 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Okay. So what we have to do? We have to left side we have to write a smaller numeral. That is this one. And at the right side we have to write the greater numeral. This is 5. So if like this we will write. It means we have to subtract the smaller number from the greater number. So, if we will subtract 5 minus 1, then it's equal to 4. So, we can say that 4 we can write like this. We don't have to give the sign. If the smaller symbol is placed at the left side of the greater symbol, means we have to subtract. Now, rule number 3. If a smaller numeral is at right of the greater numeral. Okay. Right now what we have done? We have placed the smaller numeral to the left side of the greater numeral. Okay. Now here what we have to do? Here we have to put the smaller symbol to the right side of the greater symbol. Like this is the greater symbol and this is the smaller symbol. Now if like this we will write. Then what does it mean? It means we have to add the smaller number to the greater number. Okay. If we will just put a smaller number to the left side, then we have to subtract. If we will put the smaller number to the right side to the greater number, then we have to add. So, this means this is 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Okay. So, these are the three rules and, and by following these rules only, we can form the Roman numerals. Now, according to the rule that I have told you right now, I am just going to form the numbers, Roman numerals. So, 1 we have to write as I, 2 we have to repeat the symbols. Now, 3, 4, in this what we have to do? If the smaller number is left side of the greater number, then we have to subtract the value of this symbol from this symbol. Okay? So, 5 minus 1 is equal to 4. Then 5 it is given there. 5, 6. If the smaller number is at right side of the greater number, then we have to add these values. 5 plus 1, 6. Now 5 plus 1, 6 plus 1, 7. Here again we will repeat the symbol. Okay. Only this value, this symbol will not be repeated. Okay. Otherwise all the symbols we can repeat up to 3 times. Okay, now here this is 7 and this is 8. Now we have repeated this 3 times. Now we cannot repeat this one more time here. So what we have to do? This is 9. This is 10. The symbol X means 10. Now how to form number 9? 
we have to subtract 1 from this. So, what we will do? The symbol of 1 is this one. I subtracted by x means this. Okay? This symbol subtracted by this means 1 subtracted by 10 is equal to 9. Then this is 10. Again, this is 11. Then 12. Then 13. Now, this is again repeated by 3 times. Now, we cannot repeat this. Now, what we have to do? 10. 10 plus 4. And 4 how we have written? Like 1 subtracted by 5. Okay? So, like this we will write 14. Then 15. Then 16. Then 17. 18. Now 19. 19 for 10 and plus 9. How we have written 9? Like this. Okay. 10 minus 1. So here again we will write 10 minus 1. 10 plus 10 minus 1. Okay. Now for 20 we will repeat this sign 2 times. 10 plus 10, 20. Now for 21, 10 plus 10, 20 and plus 1. Again 10 plus 10, 2, 20, 3, 20, 4, 20, 5, 20, 6, 20, 7, 20, 8. Now for 29, 20, this is the symbol for 20. And for 9, we have to write this. Okay? And for 30, 3 times x. Okay? So, I hope this is clear. Now up to 30, we already have seen that how we have to write. Now from 31 to 50, I am just going to write. Okay? 30, how we have written? 3 times x and then 1 we have to add. Okay? Then 32 like this, then 33, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now 34, for 30 we will write 3 times max and 4 we will write 1 minus 5. Okay, then 35, 36, 5 plus 1, 37, then 38. Okay, 3 times again we have repeated here. Now for 39, x, x, x and then 1 minus 10. Okay, now for 40, what we have to do? We cannot repeat this more than 3 times. Okay, this we already have done it here 3 times. Now if we will put it again, this is wrong rule. We cannot do like this. So what we have to do? For 50, we have to write L. Okay, so we can say that 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. So we can write this smaller value at the left side, x, and then we can write L. Means L means 50, 50 minus 10 is equal to 40. Okay, again after that, 41, 42, 43. 44, 45, 46, 47 and then 48. Okay, now 49, 10 minus 50, 40. And then plus 10 minus 1, 9. 49. And for 50, it is L. I hope this is clear to you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.